California politicians have long championed themselves as leaders in fighting climate change. But what if we told you that those same politicians took millions of dollars from the oil and gas industry over the last decade and a half? It is happening by both Democrats and Republicans and all the way up to Governor Brown. Tonight, we follow the money. Let's bring in our senior investigative reporter, Stephen Stock. And Stephen, what did you find? Well, Raj and Jessica, searching through campaign records dating back to 2001, we found that the oil and gas industry here in California gave $182 million to dozens of state politicians, plus to both political parties as well as various political causes. That's more money as an industry than Hollywood, the banks, utilities, even casinos. It's more oil and gas money to the election process here in California than North Dakota, Montana, New Mexico, and Texas combined. Alliance dedicated to economic growth. We will and stand united in advancing improvements in efficiency. This summit is advancing the cause. We really need our elected officials to stand up. Contra Costa resident Penny Opal Plant says all the talk in environmentally green images coming out of Sacramento obscure the real role the oil and gas industry plays here in state politics. Most people don't know how much money politicians are accepting from the fossil fuel lobby. Plant participated in protests during the recent Global Climate Change Summit in San Francisco. It's a powerful lobby. You know, they've got the big money to be able to do that. We don't. And oil companies are among the top interest groups in California. Daniel Newman founded MapLight, a nonpartisan group based in Berkeley that tracks money in politics. Newman says Penny Opal Plant has a point. These companies have enormous influence in deciding what laws get made. That's contrary to ordinary voters like you and me. With the help of MapLite data analysts, we track direct campaign contributions dating back to 2001 through June 30th of this year. We found $182 million, which ranked California at the top of states where oil and gas political donations play a role. Of that $182 million, our analysis shows $112 million went to support or defeat various ballot measures. Another $61 million went to political action committees and the state Democratic and Republican parties. We don't have as much voice as interest groups like oil companies who give millions. Of dollars a year. That $182 million puts oil and gas in the top eight of all industry and special interest givers here in California. And it's more oil and gas money given to political causes in California than North Dakota, Montana, New Mexico, and Texas combined, all according to the National Institute on Money and Politics. That's a lot of money. Is that an inordinate amount of power here in Sacramento? No, I think it's absolutely the political process we live in. Catherine Rehice Boyd serves as president of the Western States Petroleum Association, representing all the major oil and gas companies in Arizona, California, Nevada, Oregon, and Washington. I would say we've made great progress with being able to have a seat at the table with the environmentalists. Rehice Boyd makes no apologies for the industry contributing to political causes and to candidates that it feels will best represent its interest. Does the oil industry have Jerry Brown's ear? Yeah, I think so. I think it would be fair to say we are able to have a good conversation with the administration and with the agencies within it. The real challenge is the consumption of oil, which has gone up. We asked Governor Brown about all this oil and gas campaign money during the climate change summit. You and, and state Democrats have accepted millions from the oil industry, so how can you be a climate leader uh, if you do that? Hey, we. Um, you know that politics runs on money, billions and billions of dollars, and all those people are in the industry, so that's, that's part of what it is. I would say, without doubt, California has the most aggressive uh, green energy plans in the Western Hemisphere. When we tracked direct contributions from oil and gas, we found only about $159,000 going to the Brown campaign since 2005. About 120,000 of those dollars came in one election cycle, his last campaign for governor. Your campaign, dating back to 2005, took 150.
ten thousand dollars from the oil and gas industry. Is that, is that an odd? Is that is an that, odd? Wait a minute, is that all? I've raised about fifteen million dollars. That's a very small percentage. But the group Consumer Watchdog in this report contends that Governor Brown took even more money from oil and gas over the years. You take oil industry money, you can't stop drilling in this state. That's the problem. Jamie Court, president of Consumer Watchdog, says their report tracked $9.85 million in indirect contributions to Brown's favorite causes, ballot initiatives, and through the state Democratic Party, which then gave money to the governor. Don't claim you're a climate leader if you're not willing to stop fossil fuels and fossil fuel drilling. Governor Brown disputes this, saying his record and the state's leadership in fighting climate change speaks for itself. Does the oil and gas industry have inordinate power in Sacramento? No, not at all. But they do have power. Not as much as the insurance companies, not as much as the labor unions, not as much as the, uh, uh, the plastic companies, pharmaceuticals are the pharmaceuticals. They all got power. You've got to be able to stand up and say no to people. But if you think that you can run a campaign for governor and raise $100 million, uh, on chump change, you don't understand politics. Thank you. Despite a very public battle with the Trump administration over oil drilling in federal waters off the California coast, Governor Brown's critics, like Jamie Court, say the state has nearly three times as many, more than 1,400 offshore wells in state-controlled waters, and if the state has issued more than 20,000 new oil drilling permits on land here in California, while Governor Brown has been in office. We will miss his candor. That's one thing for Absolutely. sure when he leaves office. Absolutely. He tells it like it is. Uh, money and politics. <laughs> Thank you, Stephen. Yeah. If you have a tip for Stephen Stock or anyone else in our